What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to start a new project. Okay, so this is the continuation of our Revit 2023 for architecture essentials. Okay, so let's create a new project. So you just need to select new from your home view or you can press Control N on your keyboard. Okay, so just click that one and then we will be using a template here. So the template that we will be using is since we are doing architectural, I'm going to use architectural template. Just click that one and then make sure create new project here is selected. Then after that, just select OK and that's it. So you are now off to start to create your project. Now. The next thing that we will be doing is uh, we are going to import a file containing the site data to the project. Okay, so we will be using a CAD file to set up our site model. So to do that, let's go to the insert tab. So on the insert tab, you'll be able to see here the tools that you will be needing for you to be able to insert files like Revit file, IFC file, CAD file topography, uh, DW, markup, even PDF, etc, etc. Okay, so that's because it's an insert. Now, so we will be linking a CAD file. So I'm going to select link CAD file. There is actually another way of inserting CAD file in Revit. So aside from link CAD, you can also use import CAD. Okay, so import CAD is like uh, inserting a block inside your AutoCAD drawing or AutoCAD uh, project and LinkCAD it's like an XREF okay so linking is similar to having an XREF in AutoCAD so when the original linked file changes these changes are reflected if possible in the file when you reload the project so this is the one that we will be using so I'm gonna select LinkCAD all right, and then let me just go to my exercise file, site model. Okay, and then after that, look here below. So there are a few options here. Current view only. So when you tick that one, so what happens is you will be able to see the site model only on the view where you inserted or linked it. So currently we are on level zero. So I will be able to see my site model only on level zero. But uh, uh, if I would like my CAD drawing be seen in other view, so I just need to uncheck the current view only. So I'll be able to see that in my section view, uh, elevation view, or 3D view. Okay, so which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to make sure this is unchecked. And you also have ways here to control the color. So you can invert the color. So what happens is the dark colors it will become light colors and light colors will become dark colors and then you also have an option here to preserve the color and you can also make it black and white all right so i'm just gonna use your uh, color oh no just black and white okay so on the positioning so you have several options here so for this one i'll just use uh, auto uh, origin to internal origin okay so that's the one and for the layers i just need to select here all for the import units i just select auto detect okay and then i'm gonna place that at level zero okay so let's open up this one and let's right click and zoom to fit there you go so there's our site model now what i'm gonna do you see these four symbols here so these are actually elevation so here on my project browser you can see there's an elevation here so you have east north southwest so this is the one so east west north south so you can also open your elevation aside from project browser using this symbol you see this black uh, part here of your elevation if you double click that you will be able to open up your east elevation you see it's now open right so going back to my level zero so let's say i want to open my north elevation so aside from double clicking here from the project browser i can also double click this there you go all right okay so let me just go back again to my uh, level zero so i'm gonna select this like that window selection and then 
I'm just going to drag this and then put it here just to tidy up my elevation. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to place it here. This two as well. That's the one. This one here. There you go. Now, another thing that you can do when you import your site model that you will be using for your site modeling. So as you can see by default, after you link your site model, it's already pinned. So you will not be able to move that accidentally like that. See, so I cannot drag because this is very uh, important. So you need to be able not to move accidentally your site model. So that's why automatically it's pin. Well, if you want to unpin that, then just click that and then just click the pin icon. So it will gonna be unpinned. So you can now move that away if you want, but don't do that. Okay, there you go. So after you link your CAD file, the next thing that we will be doing is we are going to generate the top surface. Okay, let's generate the top surface of our model. So to do that, let's go to the Massing Inside tab. And then from the model side, so there is a tool here called Top Surface. Okay, so let me just close this one first. Okay, so let me just cancel that. Okay, let's go back. Okay, right. So this is my Top Surface. So it defines a topographical surface in a site plan or a 3D view. So let me just close this one. So I'm going to select the top surface and then I'll be able to see this uh, warning here. So it says topographic elements are not visible in your current view. So in this view right now, the, the, the topography is hidden. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this one first. I'm going to cancel the tool. I'm going to open the visibility graphic override. So the visibility graphic overrides, it controls the visibility of your current view. Okay, on our level zero. So to open that, all you, all you have to do is to type VV, Victor, Victor. Or from the properties, you can select this one. Uh, visibility graphics override just click edit and it will open up the visibility graphic overrides for your current view in our case level zero so you have several tabs here so you have model categories you have annotation categories analytical model categories imported categories filters and if you have a link uh, project you'll be able to see here our vt links revit links tab and if you have work set you can see you will see here work set tab okay so here on my model category so this is where you can control the visibility of your model categories or your 3d model so let's look for topography letter t there you go. Topography by default here is close. All right. So I know now the reason why this is turned off because we are on level zero. We are not on the site plan. Okay. So that's why. Okay. So let us not check this one because we really need to turn off the topography when we are working on our uh, floor plan, level zero or level one. So we only want to see the topography at the site plan. So that's why let's just cancel this. And then let's just change our view to site plan. Oops, just double click that. And there you go. So here, definitely the topography here is turned on. So if I select topo surface, you see, no more warning. Because if I'm going to check the, the visibility graphic overrides, so it's turned on because we are on the site plan. So remember that. So when you are site, where if you are on the site plan, topography is turned on. If you are on the floor plan, by default, the topography is turned off. Okay, which is really what it should be. All right. Now here on the site plan, let's create our top surface. Let's click top surface. And here, instead of placing a point, I'm going to create from import tool. Okay, because we have imported our CAD file, I'm going to use that one. So I'm going to select this and then let's select import instance. 
and then let's click our import okay so here you'll be able to see the layers that is in your AutoCAD drawing so we just need to select here the layers that we needed for the topography now I'm gonna select here check none I don't need all of that I only need this one C topo major okay so that's the layer that I like so I just need to select here okay and there you go and then I'll just select here finish surface and there you have it so you now have your topography so if I go to the 3d view there you go okay so there's our CAD drawing and then there's our topography okay All right so if ever you are not going to use your uh, CAD link so you can just hide that or you can just unload it so you can go to the insert tab you can go to the manage links and then just go to the CAD formats so you can select that and then if you want you can just unload that or you can even remove that if ever you're not going to uh, use that anymore or it's already the final model it will not change or the final site model it will not change then no need for you to put it in your project just remove it okay but if you're not sure just leave it there anyway you have an option to hide it just uh, go to the visibility graphic overrides you can go to imported categories here that is where you will be able to see the CAD file that you imported or link in your project which is uh, this one so you have an option if you want to turn off the visibility of that or turn on so I'll just select here okay and it will now be hidden only in this view because remember visibility graphic overrides only affect your current view okay your current view so if you go to other view the topography that we have here is, is still there like when you go to the site plan the topography is still there this one right that's the one but if you go to the 3d it's now hidden and there you have it so basically that's how we set up our new project so just a recap we created a new project using the architectural template and then after that we link our uh, site model drawing and then after that we go to the massing site and generate our topo surface using our uh, imported file okay so hopefully you learned something from this video in our next video we are going to start our designing so we are going to add some walls to our project okay so thank you for watching have a nice day